Hi. This is a quick setup guide for multiboxing using IS Boxer. My mic is busted so I am using an AI-generated voice. Well, let's get right into it. First, you will have to go to isboxer.com and register for a lavish software account. The cost is $50 per year, which comes out to be a little over $4 a month. Then you download the IS Boxer and Inner Space Bundle. Once downloaded, you just log in using the username and password set up for lavish software. Once Inner Space and IS Boxer are downloaded, open Inner Space. Then right click Inner Space at the bottom right hand corner of your desktop and left click on Add Game. A small window will appear, titled Add Game to Inner Space. Simply drag and drop either the shortcut for Nicterman or the client exe file into the window. It will auto-populate the name and game executable. You can leave the parameters part blank. Click OK. Next, open IS Boxer. You are going to click on Wizard, then choose Quick Setup Wizard. When it prompts you to choose the game you would like to set up, scroll past World of Warcraft and choose Other. This is because IS Boxer does not officially support Vanilla WoW, though it still works with limited functionality. Then we are going to add characters to a team. Under Inner Space Game Launch Information, choose Nicterman and it will auto-populate the game profile to Nicterman Default Profile. Then under Actual Character Name, you just put any name for the first window and hit Add Character to Team. You are simply naming the window whatever you want it to be called, so you do not have to put the actual character names here. Then name the second window and hit Add Character to Team. The name for the third window and then the name for the fourth window. Click Next. Create whatever you want to name this team. It does not matter what you choose. Click Next. The next part will ask you for the window's layout. Put another way, it is asking how you would like to see your multi-box screens laid out. Scroll through and choose whichever you would like. Keep everything default for the next part, and click Next. I want to point out two things you could change here. The first is the hotkey to toggle broadcasting mode hotkey. This is to turn on and off broadcasting for all keys for all windows. Choose whatever you would like to hotkey this to. I chose Shift plus R since R is used to reply to messages in game. The second thing I want to point out is the toggle key maps hotkey. This is to broadcast actions you put on action bars plus character formations which I will go over shortly. I chose to keep this as is but you can change it to whatever you'd like. The hotkeys for these two items will be important so keep them in mind. Click Finish to proceed. The setup for your multiboxing team is complete, but I wanted to highlight a couple of useful things before we go in-game. First, find the team that you set up just now by expanding the Character Sets tab and clicking on your team name. I am going to show you how to create shortcuts to switch from one window to another quickly without having to Alt-Tab. Click on one which is the first window, and then set a hotkey to switch to Window 1. I chose F1. Then do this for the second window, the third window, and the fourth window. As you saw, I chose F1, F2, F3, and F4. This will allow me to immediately switch to the character window I want to control and is very useful. Next, I want to show you how you can create positioning for your multi-boxing team. So let's go to key maps and then base hotkeys. Then on the bottom left you will see flying V formation, line formation, and star formation. You can assign a hotkey to make your multiboxing team line up a certain way when engaging in a long encounter. Personally, I like the line formation so I assigned hotkey G to that. I will show you what it does in game soon. Now let's do 1 to 2 macro setup in game, and we can start multiboxing. Under character sets, go to your team, right click and left click launch. Inner space will slowly start up four separate while clients. Wait for all four clients to start up. Then hit F1 to log in from the first window. This will be your lead character. Remember, you made F1 the shortcut hotkey to switch to window 1. Before entering your login info, be sure to toggle off key maps by using Shift plus Alt plus M or simply click the key maps toggle on the screen. If it turns gray, that means it is off. And of course, make sure broadcast mode is off grayed out and off as well, but it should be off by default. Also, be sure to disable the IS Boxer add-in on your screen. I know. This is counterintuitive, but IS Boxer does not support vanilla WoW, and this is the only way to make it work. 
So again, disable IS Boxer add-in for all WoW windows. Now that you are in-game, you can freely switch windows using F1, F2, F3, F4 which we set up earlier. But we do need to do two more things before you take off so hold your horses. Since the innate follow me function does not work for vanilla WoW, we have to create a follow macro. So open up your macros page, then create a follow macro to your lead character. For this video, I am going to create a slash follow t1 macro and put it on character 2, 3, and 4. You won't have to create a slash follow t1 macro for t1 since he doesn't have to follow himself. I will place this macro on the action bar 3 button. Then I am going to create a slash assist and slash attack button on character 2, 3, and 4. And I place this macro on the action bar 1 button. Alright. Now we are good to start your multiboxing adventure. Make sure to turn on key maps which you will see the left part turn green once it's on. And from your lead character hit the 3 button and you will see that all your other windows will hit action button 3 and use the macro to follow you. Now let's approach a mob and hit action button 1 which will make the other tunes hit action 1 as well, which should be the assist and attack macro we set up. These are just the basics and really all you need to level and get through dungeons, and the easier raids like MC and ZG. I timestamped this video to help you recall parts of the setup process so take a look. I will also have the macros and some information covered from the video in the description box for reference. So in summary, register and set up your multibox team. After the first setup, if you want to multibox, start up inner space and then start up IS Boxer. Click on your team and launch. Before I leave you, I want to address some common user errors, all of which you will at some point encounter. 1. You might be trying to get the other windows to follow you, but they're not. What gives? Make sure your key maps button is on. That is the button that broadcasts the action bar items for all your characters. 2. You might find your movements for some of your characters a bit wonky. It's likely that you have the broadcast mode accidentally on for one of the windows. Third, you have to disable the IS Boxer add-in from your add-ons menu for all windows. Otherwise, it won't work. That's it for this video. It's a lot to take in at first, so feel free to ask me any questions. I sincerely hope you have fun on your multiboxing journey, and I'll see you around.